welcome. Thanks for joining another EDUPAS community conversation. I'm here today with President Tuminez from Utah Valley University, and we're here to talk about digital transformation, not as a well-worn phrase or as the rhetorical flourish it sometimes is, but in the concrete context of a president who's prioritizing DX on her campus. Welcome, President Tuminez. Thank you, John. At EDUCAUSE every year, we publish a top 10 IT issues. For 2021, nothing was normal, and so we didn't have 10. We instead had three scenarios we explored, three post-pandemic scenarios, asking campuses to think about whether they plan to restore everything as soon as possible, to evolve what they were doing as a campus, or whether to transform. What are you planning for UVU? Um, I think all three of those are relevant, restore, evolve, and transform. And I really like uh, the words that you've chosen. I, I think uh, you restore some of your old interaction, obviously coming back uh, face to face. Uh, you restore hopefully an optimistic spirit after a very difficult year, uh, not just because of the pandemic, but you know the bitter politics in, in the country. Uh, and, and then I think evolving means you know learning from, from the past year in terms of agility, in terms of uh, new things that we should do. A permanent remote work is, is here to, it's gonna be a, just a feature of life as we know it. And then transform is probably the hardest part. We are never gonna restore everything 100% to you know March 10, 2020. Uh, we actually have to transform and it's probably long overdue in the higher education sector. The disruption has been going on for a very long time in higher ed. Uh, our culture is not always known for uh, agility. And I think the transformation, it, it comes with a mindset that we have, understanding who the people are that we're trying to serve with higher education, and then really putting students more at the center of everything we do, and then being very accountable for our resources and what is expected of us. We have to deliver for our students. So the transformation I think is also very real. And higher education, as you say, is not known for its speed or if it's speed is talked about, it's probably recognized as glacial. That's the story we've been telling ourselves for as long as I've been in higher ed. Do you really think and hope that, that there's a different story being created as we speak? I certainly hope so, because frankly, the, the context will not let us keep doing things the way we've been doing them. Anyone who is in higher ed or anyone who, who uh, follows higher education is well aware of the crisis in enrollment throughout the country, the crisis in funding, the student debt crisis, and the fact that our citizens today question the very value of higher education. So three decades ago when I was in college, it would have been unthinkable for anyone to say, you don't need to go to university or you don't need a college degree. We still were very much in that post-World War II ethos of you know, getting an education, getting your skills and competencies and your degrees and then moving on in, in life and in work. And, and so I, I think that we would, we would be ignoring the need for agility and transformation at our own peril. And we already see across the country uh, budget cuts because enrollment is very low. We have seen colleges closing. We've seen departments closing. Those are very, very painful decisions to make. And with the COVID pandemic, you know, UVU, that was the second year of my presidency. We had a 2% base budget cut from the legislature. That of course wasn't uh, drastic. We were able quickly to pivot and very, very few furloughs, very you know, single digit layoffs. But we can't always say that the future will look like that. And so I think uh, the way that we do what we do, uh, we need to feel a sense of urgency. 